welcome to this video. I got a big letter in the mail today and it was kindly sent to me by Red Cat Imaging. I recently saw a video from his channel where he presented his redesigned pinning loader. It's a, a Euro cylinder pinning loader that he made by himself, uh, 3D printed. And I got in contact with him and he was so kind to send me an example of his work. So I'm very curious to see how it uh, looks like in reality. And of course I want to try it. <coughs> It's a note. I will uh, read it later on. Okay, there's a paper clip. Oh, and a pinning shoe. Oh, he also sent me a pinning shoe. That's cool. <clears throat> Carefully open it. Oh, very nice. Uh, the lock here. So that goes um, at the Bible of this lock and there needs to be a wire <coughs> bent around that then holds the, the driver pins in place. And I think that's what the um, uh, paper clip is uh, used for. So I think I can just bend it by myself and uh, insert it in the hole. Uh, And here is the loader. Nice green plastic. Carefully um, packed it. And come out of here. Okay, this is something to um, um, yeah prevent the uh, tool from being um, pushed and destroyed. So here's the here's the loader. Very nice. You insert it when you have uh, removed the core and uh, then you can uh, turn it and you can remove the pins uh, one by one and also insert it again. Alright, cool stuff. Um, let me get my uh, tools and the lock, uh, uh, lock I have and um, I will test it. So, hold on. So the lock is clamped in the vise, the clip is already removed and it's a pretty easy pick. Five pins, only standard. Apply tension. One is set. Two is set. Three. Four. It's hard to get under five or over five. And it's open. Carefully remove the tension wrench. So turn it all the way around. Now I'll use my uh, own pinning shoe. And um, yeah, then the note revealed that I was right that I can make um, a pinning shoe out of <clears throat> this piece here and the paper clip. But for now, I will just use my own pinning shoe. So let me zoom in. So now I can uh, pull out the plug and see how I can modify the light so that you can see a little bit inside, maybe like so. Okay, uh, the front loader or this, this tool um, has a slot here um, which has to be placed um, like so that the, um, that the wire of the pinning shoe uh, goes inside. So now I can hopefully remove the pinning shoe and the uh, pins, they, uh, they stay in place as you can see. Because the slot is a little bit um, smaller than the diameter um, of the pins. Now I can turn around the, the tool 
and I think I need to turn it the other way around okay, it stops here because of the pins to push down the pins a little bit okay so now the the other slot comes into play um, wait a minute, I will just uh, try to arrange the lightning a little bit so that you can look inside. Okay, I inserted a lamp, so if we need we can um, shine a light on the pins. So now the, the, um, the other slot comes into play and when I turn it you can see that the first pin um, can be removed, so I hold the Yep. Hold the, 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 the tweezers uh, on top of it and then I can pull it out. Okay, number one. And I continue turning it and only one pin at the same time uh, comes free. And this slot is a little bit wider than the other slot so that the pin can actually uh, be removed. And I only uh, turn it uh, so that I can, um, so that it comes out a little bit, and then I turn it back so that it um, is then stopped. And when a pin is halfway out, I can I grab it with the tweezers and pull it out. Okay, I have to move the camera a little bit because otherwise I don't have enough space for my hand. Oops, okay, it's a little bit weird to do that uh, with the limited amount of space between the lock and the camera. That was four, three is, uh, is somewhere. Okay, all pins are out and now I can just pull out the tool and do whatever I want and yeah now I will search for the uh, the lost pin and then I will reassemble it so the missing pin is, is found and now I can reassemble the lock I insert the tool and I will turn it uh, let me see I will turn it counterclockwise so I start with a so the last position completely um, accessible uh, from from the slot. So let me grab a driver and zoom in. So you can see five is completely open. I will insert the pin. You can see it's held in place by the by the tool. Now I push it down and turn it a little bit. So now 5 is completely uh, blocked by the tool but 4 is now open. I can insert 4 and with the same technique push it down and turn it a little bit further. Go to 3, do the same. Now I'm on two, and this works really, really well. I mean, it's a little bit um, uh, weird to do that with a camera in between, but actually, uh, even with this, um, with this, it's it's pretty pretty easy. So it's really easy doable. Um, now I turn it. Until the pins are are in the slot, in the small slot, yeah, in the light, so you can see it's they are completely blocked by the by the small slot. And now we'll insert my uh, pinning shoe, and I can then remove the front loader. The pins are held in place, 
Now I can insert the plug again, remove the pinning shoe, and we are done. So, pretty simple, really great tool. So, Tom, uh, Red Cat Imaging, thank you very much for this, for this great uh, uh, front loader tool. Really appreciate it, and it will be very helpful for um, full euros. So this, um, of course, I could have used my my follower to <clears throat> to cut it. But if you have a, a full euro like this, and if you don't wanna uh, cut it uh, in halves, um, uh, this tool is really handy. So thank you very much, um, and everybody else. Um, thanks for watching, and happy picking. Bye bye. Sorry, I was so amazed by my little green friend that I totally forgot to make the critical review that I was asked for. Alright, so regarding dimensions, there is nothing to complain about. As you have seen before, um, it fits nicely in the uh, plug chamber without too much play. And also the slot for the pinning shoe needle has the right uh, thickness. Maybe it could be a little bit uh, smaller to get a tighter fit, but it's actually okay. And I have another uh, pinning shoe. And also with that pinning shoe it works pretty good. So no problems. Um, regarding the other slot, it has the right uh, width, so you can individually access uh, every uh, pin chamber and every pin. And as this is a six pin housing, we can check the last pin, the last chamber, and you can see it um, provides a nice access to the last chamber without uh, any problems. So it's, it's long enough. And in fact there's a little bit of uh, extra space here at the end. You can see, and this is, this is quite good, because I think there are locks where the uh, the first uh, pin chamber has an offset to the to the front, so that all pin chambers are then um, yeah more um, go going more in, uh, to the inside, so that this um, extra space here at the end is, is quite helpful. Um, other than the dimensions, which are pretty good, um, I have. The only concern that I have is stability. So you can see, you can squeeze it, and that's because this uh, pinning uh, needle slot here goes all the way from left to right, and there is no connection. Um, and to, to improve that, you could um, make a connection here at the end. This would not um, change the, the, um, the functionality. Um, because no pinning shoe needle is that long. So you could safely add a connection here at the end, just like just like here. And you could even um, add some layers of plastic here in the inside to um, make um, to make it even more stable. Yeah, that's that's the only um, improvement idea that I have. And yeah, here is here is uh, a here is a, a space here, so a little groove, and I'm not really sure that this has um, yeah, an effect to the functionality of the tool, and maybe I'm wrong, but if so, I I, I didn't I didn't feel um, an advantage um, from that groove. So maybe you can just uh, make it all the way around uh, without that groove. Or um, I missed out something and you can tell me. Alright, so dimensions are pretty good. Um, the only improvement that I have is uh, to add a connection here and add some layers of plastic at the end in the inside to make the overall stability a little bit better. Alright, Tom, thanks again for the tool and everybody else, thanks for watching and happy picking. Bye bye!